G'day everyone at Recording Review. It's Dan here, um, aka Dan Man Izza. Uh, hopefully you've sort of seen me around, especially the Slate Digital Cup. Uh, a lot of you guys would know that um, my family and I moved out of house uh, last year, 2012, mid-2012, uh, renovated, knocked down most of our house and started again. And with that, uh, I got a fantastic studio room out of that, um, one that's actually built for this purpose. It's called Rubber Man Studios. I got the nickname a long, long time ago when my hair wasn't uh, thinning and receding as much, uh, just for my antics on stage and uh, rubber neck, I think was another version. Anyway, you get the idea. So come on in. Um, I'll give you a brief tour. It's this is it. it. Looks quite dark, but it's actually it's actually pretty reasonably light in here. Uh, so I'm standing right in the back corner. It's one room. It's six meters by eight meters, roughly. I think that's about right. Uh, and yeah, look, it sounds pretty decent here over the over the Australian summer, over Christmas. Uh, my old man and I put up um, a whole stack of those uh, baffles, and I can't for the life of me think of who. The member was who, who posted pictures on how to make it, but honestly, that, that guy saved me thousands of dollars. So look, I'll put a link to that on this uh, on this post as well. So we've got some up on the roof and over there, as you can sort of see. Uh, hopefully you can see. If not, this is a waste of time. Uh, yeah, so I've got them in the mixed positions. I've got my singer coming over today, so I've sort of got him set up ready to go. Uh, drummer's electronic drum kit here. And some of my old amps. Here's the setup. Uh, so now you know what I look like. You can also imagine what I look like typing um, my wonderfully witty and exceptionally knowledgeable posts on recording review. Uh, I've got to show you this. This is cool. My, this is my uh, my wife got me this for Christmas. It's a it's a mat. Like I don't know, it doesn't sound very interesting, but it it looks awesome. It's it's a cassette and it's cool. Um, probably doesn't have the impact that. It has on me, but anyway, uh, so yeah, my guitars and things, my awesome, um, whoops, my awesome custom made guitar, um, which I can't play very well, but I have a go anyway. Uh, so here's another view of the room. So it's look, it's one room, so it is intimate, but at the same time, you can hopefully tell from the electronic drum kit there that you can easily have a real kit in here and have people. Uh, all the other man members here as well. Um, haven't tried that as yet. Not sure how a drum kit will go in here, but we'll, we'll give it a crack. My um, everyone loves their own CD collection, but um, yeah, I, I love my CD collection. There's barely a disc in there that I, I don't like. And my vinyl collection down the bottom there. But yeah, hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of um, of what I'm doing. Uh, you know, 99% of the time I'm recording myself or my band, so it's um. It's got to be comfortable and it's got to be a whoops a finger. It's got to be comfortable and it's got to be fun. So hopefully people who come here and pay to come here will um will find it relaxing and enjoyable as well. Obviously there's a lot of crap that's not related to recording in here, uh, but you know that's cool. That's what it's all about. You need to need to enjoy the space. Uh, well I've got you as well. If anyone, especially from Australia, is interested, this is the stuff I've got it left over. I'm actually planning on throwing it in the roof. Um, I'm doing a few other bits and pieces and making a few baffles already, but this is called Tontine Acoustas Orb 2, and it's uh, it's relatively cheap. I mean, that pack pack there with five sheets costs about 150 bucks, uh, and the best thing is you can touch it, and, and, and uh, it's not like Owen's Corning and things like that. So you can touch this. You just can't cut it with scissors. It's bloody impossible. You'll break your wrist or break the scissors, uh, but it's awesome stuff. So... If you're in Australia, check out Ton Tontine, Tontine um, Acoustas Orb 2 if you want to get into making those panels in there. They do a great job, and uh, again, I'll put a link down for um, for a step-by-step -step process on how to do that. I've really enjoyed catching up and uh, getting to know a whole stack of you guys and girls, so yeah, I continue hope to continue to be part of the, um, the forum and, and the community. Signing off, Dan, aka Dan Man Izza.